In this lesson, you will learn about certain special effects and moving your characters. So, we want to move our characters from one place to another, but how do we do that? Where do we add in the transforms for our characters? The answer is Timeline. First, let's go to Script located at the top right bar to get to the Stage and Timeline editors. Notice at the bottom you can see a list of characters. This is the stage. To learn more about the stage editor and the functions of the stage, please see the tutorial called Stage Editor. To create animations to give voices to our characters, we must first add in a Crazy Talk script, or CTS as we like to call them. You can see the tutorial creating your scripts to learn more about how to create scripts. Now that we have our script, we can add in some transforms. First, a quick review. Do you remember when we were doing the face fitting? There was a bounding box around our characters that we often refer to as the body. When we transform, we will be transforming whatever is encompassed within that box. So back to the timeline editor. To add transform, we can click on the transform track and the key editor will appear. The key editor can be used to create facial movement and expressions as well as transform. In this tutorial, I'm only focusing on transform. If you wish to learn more about the key editor to create expressions, please see the expressions and key editor tutorial. So back to transform. If we wish to have our entire character move, we can simply add in two transform keys, then change the position at the second transform key. As we play back, our character will move from one position to the next. To add keys, there are two ways. One is manually place the key by choosing a location on the transform track, then create a transform key by pressing set key. The second way is to automatically create keys by checking the auto key. If we made a transform and forgot to set key, that data would be lost. But if we select auto key, then the transform will be automatically saved. Default key is to have the character return back to the 00, zero invisible origin, which in this case seems to be hiding behind my key editor. If you ever are editing a key but want to revert back to its previously saved position, you can always press the resume key. You can also use puppeteering panel to help create transform. Just clear out all the other selection, then click on the transform, press record and spacebar, and record the live transform for your character. Then you can play back and watch your progress. Here are a few tips when adding transform. If you wish to make your character appear to walk, we can do a few different layered transforms. So back to our original transform when moving from point A to B, we can add in a few other transforms in between those two points and make the character move up and down. So we add in two transform keys and move up and then the next one move down and keep doing so till we get to the last key and then play back and our character seems to walk. Another tip for aesthetic purposes is to add in a little zoom transforms while our characters are talking. To do so is just like adding in walking. You add in a transform key and then zoom in and out. When we play back, you can see the difference it has on the character script. When the mother is talking, she zooms to the foreground, and dad zooms back, and the opposite when dad begins to talk. Now let's take a look at adding in a transition effect. To do so, we need to use special effects. If you want to learn more about special effects, you can watch the tutorial called SFX and Modification. I will show you a trick on how to fade your character in, but it actually takes some thinking. To do this trick, we need first to have an image such as a pure white bitmap like this one. Then go to the special effects track and let's create a special effect. Choose transitions and let's add in fade out. I know the first thought is to use fade in since we want our character to fade in, but if you think about it, what we are really trying to do is have the white image fade out. When the white image fades out, then the character appears to fade in. Sounds backwards, but that's show business. <laughs> 